Info, Brian Myers with Winning Solutions, and I have another Microsoft Access Expert tutorial for you today. We're going to look at one of our database templates from our website. Um, to get to it, uh, go to www.microsoftaccessexpert.com, scroll down on the left side and click on the database templates for purchase. The one we're going to look at today is here, this one at the bottom, an access progress meter. So go ahead and click on that link. And uh, as always, there's a description here of what the, uh, the uh, application does and uh, an ability to download a demo version of the product. Uh, you can also purchase it from this page as well. So we'll go ahead and right click and save link as. And we'll save that to our desktop. And that is downloaded. So we'll go ahead and close out our browser here. And we're going to extract the zip file by right clicking on it and saying extract. We'll extract it to the desktop. Shows us the files in the folder. And we'll double click on the access application here. And we can close this pop-up. This is just general information about how to contact us if you need further help uh, implementing this or need somebody to actually do some access development for you. Please feel free to contact us. There's also contact information in the description below. So let's look at this progress meter. Um, one thing we've got here is it looks like a couple different views. Um, we can put in a number of times that we want the loop to go through. Let's go ahead and just leave it at the 1,000 and see the left to right progress meter. Uh, that would be good for when you're processing records or, or displaying uh, to the user that you're actually doing some behind the scenes pr uh, processing. Um, let's go ahead and check out the right to left, starting there on the right, filling up to the left. And we've got a two-step uh, progress meter here. We're going to have a, a bottom bar that's going to fill up. And this would be when you're doing really big processing jobs and you're uh, processing each, of, uh, each record and then processing uh, maybe a, a higher level record to perform an update. Um, these would be really good in, in any type of programming where you're doing a, a massive amount of processing behind the scenes and, and you don't want the user to just be left in the dark and, and not be able to know uh, how the, the process is progressing. Um, we'll go ahead and let this finish out. As always, if, if you need any access programming, feel free to contact us via our website. We're also on Facebook and Twitter. Uh, be sure to subscribe to our channel. We post videos quite frequently. And uh, go ahead and like the video if this was uh, helpful to you. And as this is finishing up here, we'll check out these other ones that we have here. We've got a top to bottom and a bottom to top. And we'll change the numbers on here. Let's try going with a higher number on this one. Let's go 10,000 and run it. And you can see this one is going to take quite a bit longer because we've set it at uh, 10,000 uh, iterations on the loop. And there it's going from top to bottom. So for this other one, let's go ahead and try cutting it in half. And we'll do 500. And this one should be much quicker. And there it is. Thank you for uh, listening today. Once again, don't forget to subscribe. Hit us up on the social media circuit. And feel free to check out www.microsoftaccessexpert.com for more great tutorials, code samples, and applications. Thanks. Bye.